Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. If you have learned about electric motors, the direction in which they rotate is decided by Fleming's left hand rule. It is otherwise known as motor rule. In this video, we are going to learn about Fleming's left hand rule with the help of a few experiments. Here I have a simple motor. I have shown you how to make this in my previous video. Now, I will connect this terminal to the positive end of the battery and this one to the negative end of the battery. You see, this means I am passing current through the armature. No. Gently I will push this. You can observe the armature is rotating in this direction towards me. When I pass current in this manner, current through this armature flows in this uh, direction and the north pole of the magnet is acting upward. According to Fleming's left hand rule, if you stretch three fingers of your left hand, that is forefinger, middle finger and a thumb, mutually perpendicular to each other. Here I use the word mutually perpendicular. That means if you take any two fingers, they make an angle of 90 degrees. Correctly speaking, all the three fingers are making an angle of 90 degree with each other. So we have used the term mutually perpendicular. If you stretch forefinger, middle finger and thumb mutually perpendicular to each other, forefinger represents magnetic field, middle finger represents the direction of flow of current and the thumb represents the direction in which the force act or it represents the direction in which the conductor move. Here the conductor is the armature. This coil is the conductor through which we are passing current. Current is flowing in this direction and the magnetic field is acting in the upward direction and the armature that is the conductor moves towards me along the direction of thumb. I hope you have understood. Now I reverse the current. Now I connect this end to a negative terminal and this end to the positive terminal. That means uh, I am reversing the current in this way. Magnetic field is kept as such. The current is reversed. If uh, When I reverse the current, the armature has to rotate in the reverse direction. Let's find out. Gently I push this. You can observe the armature has rotated in this particular direction. This, uh, this shows uh, Fleming's left hand rule. Now I will perform one more experiment to demonstrate motor rule or Fleming's left hand rule. Here I have fixed aluminum foil strip in this manner whose ends are connected to two crocodile clips. Now I am going to pass current through this aluminum foil strip which is suspended here. For that I will make use of this 9 volt battery. Now I will connect this end to the positive terminal and this end to the negative terminal and I below to produce magnetic field I am going to place this magnet. I remove the pin from this magnet. I place it here. You can see the north pole of this magnet is facing upward. That means the magnetic field is acting upward. If I connect this, this terminal to the positive of the battery, 
and this end to the negative of a battery. So, but I carefully what happened. If I do so, current will pass in this uh, direction. Current will pass in this direction. Magnetic field is acting upward. So, according to Fleming's left hand rule, this current carrying conductor should move along the direction of thumb towards me, it has to move. Let's find out. You can observe. This conductor has moved towards me. Now I am going to reverse the current. Now I will demonstrate this once again. Here, according to Fleming's left hand rule, magnetic field is acting upward, current is passing in this direction, and the current carrying conductor moves towards the thumb, that is towards me in this case. Now I will reverse the current. When I reverse the current, the current carrying conductor will move away from me. Let's see. Now I connect this terminal to negative of the battery and this terminal to positive of the battery. Let's see. You can observe the current carrying conductor has moved away from me. Now according to Fleming's left hand rule, you see. This is the direction of the magnetic field. This is the direction of movement of current carrying conductor. And the current moves in this particular direction along this current carrying conductor. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt, Related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.